Now, a warning, this next story contains distressing images. About 500 dairy cows from Australia and New Zealand have died after being shipped to Sri Lanka under a farming scheme underwritten by the federal government. Disturbing video obtained by the ABC shows emaciated cattle on farms in Sri Lanka. Sri Lankan farmers have complained about the scheme and the country's Auditor-General wants it to be shut down, claiming it's poorly planned and inhumane. The West Australian company contracted to ship the animals, Wellard, says the program program is an overall success and it blames a handful of farmers for not taking advice on how to care for the animals. And investigative reporter Lorna Knowles broke that story. She says that although the Australian exporter, exporting company Wellard has blamed local farmers for the treatment of the cows, the farmers are being backed by some Sri Lankan authorities. The farmers say they weren't given the uh, training and the veterinary support to, to care for these animals, that they, they purchased them. Um, uh, there was a, a shipment of 3,000 uh, cows from Australia that arrived in late 2017. Um, uh, the, the country's Auditor General has investigated this scheme and has actually backed what uh, these farmers are saying. Uh, he says that the cows are wrong for the climate. They're not coping in the hot weather. They're not producing the milk that was promised. So the farmers aren't making a profit. They're, they're expensive to feed. Uh, and, and they say many of them are infertile. Uh, so uh, it's not a profitable uh, business for many of these farmers that invested in this scheme. And uh, we're told that some of them have taken their own lives. The banks are foreclosing on their properties and uh, they, they're um, taking their lives. The, the laws relating to live export animals, uh, there seems to be uh, one standard that applies to animals that are exported for slaughter. There, there appear to be legal protections um, for the welfare of those animals. Um, but I'm told that the same protections don't apply to animals like this. Breeder animals and dairy uh, cows are not afforded the same protection and there are calls here in Australia to have those laws uh, looked at. We started talking to some of these farmers uh, back in February. Uh, they had also contacted the animal rights group uh, Animals Australia. Um, so I was talking to them um, but uh, we didn't uh, realise the extent of the problem. We were, we were just hearing initially that the animals there weren't thriving, that they weren't, they weren't supplying the milk um, that was promised and, and that was leading the farmers to go broke. It was only when we started speaking to more individual farmers, uh, finding out a little bit more about the mortality rate, which seems high, it's about 10% of, of the 5,000 that have been shipped so far. And it wasn't until we got um, our reporter on the ground, Siobhan Heenu, to visit this particular farm in the central tablelands of Sri Lanka uh, that, you know, it came into stark view that, you know, 160 of the 200 cows on that property have died and the other 40 will need to be culled. They have a, a highly contagious bacterial infection. Um, so just scenes of utter devastation on that farm. Um, it's, as the farmer said, it's, it's more like a cemetery than a farm.